Hi, this video is to answer questions on how I built my sliding bed for my RV. Um, I, I didn't want to remove the steel box and I wanted to keep the steel uh, seat. So I couldn't do what most people did when they built the sliding box. So I had to kind of engineer a way I could do it on top of the existing seat cover. So what I did was um, I decided to uh, use aluminum instead of putting just a 2x4 two two on the bottom that holds the moving slats to the stationary slats. So I bonded uh, two strips of wood, one in the front, one in the back, with fuse it. So I got the rails on, uh, I made the rails the same height as the aluminum strip that was going to be on the bottom, so it could slide under the um, the slats that are glued stationary and pull all the way out to extend the moving slats and I attach those with aluminum strips on the top and the bottom of the moving slats. The trick was to find some way to attach them so that I could have the movement of the sliding slats. So what I came up with is um, I used riv nuts, and I didn't use riv nuts the way you would use them. Uh, you don't need a riv nut uh, gun, you don't need any of that. You just need the actual riv, nut, riv nuts and the bolts and the size that will kind of insert into the wood from the bottom up to the lip of the riv nut, uh, kind of like loading a, a chambering a bullet on a revolver, and then screw the through, through the top piece of aluminum down to the riv nut and it, it I, didn't, I wasn't sure if this was going to work but it worked out great it's uh it's, it's really sturdy it, it i've had no problems with it you could use some loctite on this the the uh, screws you use the bolts to bolt it to the riv nut i didn't do that I've, i haven't had any problems with any coming loose uh and again it's it's nice and sturdy you do not need to use two by fours if you've got a platform bed the slats that your mattress sits on are, are about are the same as this, they're an inch. So you just want to get, uh, I forget what these are, I think five by one, I want to say. So I started by cutting all those to size, cutting everything to size to fit where it needed to fit. And then I placed everything as I went, uh, remeasuring, getting everything to fit you know perfectly so that they would slide out once everything was fitted I glued down the stationary slats then I finished it by putting a 2x4 on the end that I was going to attach the feet to to pull out uh, to do that I just routed a channel I left the sliding slats longer to fit in the channel so that everything would butt up nicely against each other uh, I don't have all the tools to, I'm sure you could you could route this, so you routed a perfect little spot for each slat to fit into. I didn't do that. I did it the, the quick and easy way. I just routed a channel all the way across. And then when everything was fitted together, I took it apart. And then I wood glued in pieces in between the slats to just keep everything nice and snug and not have any gaps or you know just to strengthen the, the overall piece altogether and that was pretty much it and i just stained the front i didn't stain the backs or the slats i just stained the front piece of wood i bolted legs to it i mean this whole process you can do in a day and um like I said, it, I, I wasn't sure how this was going to work because it's not like every other sliding sliding bed I've seen. Usually they're two by fours, and you've got a bunch of space underneath, so you can just uh, bolt the top, the the extending ones to the two by four, and pull them out. I, I actually like this better, and it it lets me keep my cover on that uh, storage bay. There's plenty of room underneath for airflow so you don't have to worry about mold and it's really sturdy that's uh, the thing I was worried about the most was how sturdy it was going to be the the whole thing just opens up on the hinge so I can open it uh, with the slats and the feet on it and it just opens up also on the wood slats that pull out the every the slat that moves out uh, uh, you can see it in one of the pictures on the back part that's actually going to be pushed towards the wall on the bottom 
uh, I actually angled them just slightly so that when you push it in, it doesn't get hung up on the wood strips that are glued to the steel top. It just gives it a little clearance, like almost like a little wedge. So when you push it in, it'll go up over that nice and smoothly. Uh, I ended up having to, because it's an odd size, I had to have custom cushions made. But it worked out well. They they're fit perfectly. Uh, I left a lip on the 2x4 in the front just to hold the cushions in so it wouldn't be sliding around. About I probably left like an inch on there. That worked out well. Overall, I was really happy with the way this turned out. The bed is, I think, 47, I don't know, 48 inches wide and 77 inches long.